Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. Today we're testing a new version. Just woke up to this thing, 12.5.4.2. Let's go. All right, let's see how it handles this ride. FSD is on. It's not rolling away. I'm gonna push the accelerator to get it started. Just a slight tap. We're going downhill here. There's a speed bump here. Let's see if it slows down for it. Ooh, not slowing down for it. I had to manually press the brake. All right, so that's still an issue in this version. Smooth stops through the stop sign here. And then the Meek's a lot quicker right than before, for sure. Took a turn a little wide. This is an oncoming car, so it's acting a little bit jumpy here. I don't know why we're stopping here. We're at like four, three miles an hour. There's some people packing their car, but no, no need for us to stop. So that's weird. That's a new behavior that we haven't seen before. Coming up to the next speed bump here. It does see the speed bump on the visualization. Could slow down for it. It's about the same speed as it normally takes these speed bumps. And we're coming up to this sign here. Let's see if it picks up this wrong speed limit here. Yeah, it does recognize this stop sign. Completely unnecessary. I should really remove that sign. All right, but it's picking up a speed limit of 35 here. Usually it reads that speed limit sign and goes 15 here. And now it's picking up the correct speed limit of uh, 35 on this road. And let's see what it does here on the right turn. There's no cars coming from the left. So we're ready to execute our turn. All right, fantastic. The speed limit stays at 35. Perfect. And we're driving a little bit above the speed limit on this road. It looks like the speed limit map issue is fixed for this particular section of the road. It's slowing down for this windy turns, which is probably the same thing I would do. So it makes the ride very comfortable. And then it's speeding up back after the turns. That's fantastic. All right, so now we got the railroad tracks coming up. Good slow down. Yeah, 27 is about average speed that it crosses those railroad tracks at. So it's doing really well there. I did not put a destination in. So let me add that. Wow, all that was done without a destination in. So it automatically just chose to go that route. That's pretty wild. So we're just gonna do our usual short shop right run just to test the new version. Going 36 into 35. It's, there's a little bit of a slowdown for the truck ahead of us and probably the light turning yellow. Probably saw there was turning yellow all the way back there. There's right on red here. So we should just be stopping for a brief moment to assess the situation and then proceed through the red. All right, we should be proceeding at this point. There's no cars from the left. Fantastic execution of the turn. We're getting in the right lane. We do have to pre-stage for that left-hand turn. There's no cars in front of us, so we'll see if this version pre-stages a bit earlier than the last one that was like shooting for the turn through traffic or 100 feet away. Right now there's nobody around us, so it's a good time to pre-stage, but we're not doing that for some reason. So this new version is still not pre-staging early. Previous versions would pre-stage at like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 miles. And we're, we do have some traffic coming up on the left here that's going to block us basically because the car's waiting too long. There yeah, we're 0.1 miles, so we're going to miss this turn unless it's going to do something crazy here with all this traffic. 300 feet, 200 feet. Yeah, it's going to miss the turn. Okay, yeah. And I was, if you're worried about that car, you should be worried about the turn you just missed. Yeah, somebody was pulling out a bit quick from the right, so just flashing them red, letting me know that 
they may not stop. But they did. So the map's already rerouted. So there's a couple different reroutes that it could take if we go on this traffic light or it can go past the traffic light and loop around on the U-turn. It looks like it's going to take the traffic light. It's kind of disappointing that it's still missing that exit. If it just pre-staged like at 0.3 miles away, it would have not missed that turn at all, but it waited last minute. It didn't even put a blinker on or anything. And as the cars came up to the left of us, it actually caused the vehicle to miss a turn good stop sign here the stops are very smooth the smoothness is still there so it's, it looks like they really have that figured out okay good we're getting in the right lane here this is the left left turn lane and we're gonna be pulling into the ShopRite parking lot from a different direction so I'm gonna be looking for its behavior Oh, interesting. New notes. Stop at traffic control. Use accelerator or gear stock to continue. Stop at traffic control. Use accelerator or gear stock to continue. Interesting. Yeah, that's a new message I've never seen before. All right, we got green. I didn't have to touch any controls even though that message popped up. Sorry, I had to reread it a couple of times because I couldn't really understand what it's telling me to do. So I don't know what that message is for, but it's not easily understood because we're on full self driving. So why would I be touching anything? Yeah, it's getting really confused here on this exit. It put us in this left turn only lane and then got out of it. It's trying to navigate correctly, but with some mistakes I'm looking to see what kind of okay we're just stopping for no reason it's like slow down for no reason here not sure what's going on all right we're heading towards the pin the pin is here for the exit for the entrance here in the front of the store it's a pedestrian to the right it's, it's giving them plenty of space there's another pedestrian crossing Let's see what kind of behavior it has in the parking lot. We've had all kinds of stuff. We've had it park on its own or keep going. Or it only parked on its own one time, but looks like it's just gonna keep going. There's a lady driving on the wrong side of the road. We're just waiting for her to get out of the way. All right. Executed that pretty well. Is it looking for a spot here? Okay, not sure about that spot. All right, it kind of felt like it was going to park in this spot here, but it decided to go forward and looks like it's rerouting back to the front of the store. So we're just going to send it, send it back home. All right, so the parking lot, uh, about the same as, as we thought. There's been some reports of people hitting the curb at night so I'm just paying a close attention to the curb. Let's see how it handles these yellow lines. It's still driving through the yellow divider here on the wrong side of the road. All right, it's moving over to the right. It's setting up for the stop sign. So this person really should be going because there's a, they have their own lane to uh, exit here. All right, we have our own lane here. We should be going as well. Perfect execution on that turn great acceleration feels very comfortable and i love the fact that it moves over before the lane runs out in the previous version it would go all the way till the lane runs out and have the white line push it over to the left but in this version it looks like it does it on its own really well all right we're coming up looks like this light's going to be green for us I'll be curious which lane it's gonna choose at my traffic light here. I prefer to be in the left lane because it's just easier. I don't have to, after the turn, like negotiate with other cars to the right because that right lane ends right after the left turn. So we'll see how it does here. We're 0.6 miles away. It's already pre-staged in the correct lane. 
thanks to that vehicle, the post office vehicle that was there, I think that pushed us over into the left lane. It was back at that turn where it executed the uh, right hand turn out of the shop right parking lot really well. And we're coming up to the turn here. There's a bunch of cars at the light. Let's see which choice it makes. I'm really hoping it chooses the left lane here. Okay, I was choosing the right lane for some reason. Yeah, I don't quite understand how it makes these choices. You know, sometimes it chooses the left lane, sometimes it chooses the right lane. But today I chose the right lane on this turn, which is fine. Just gonna hang out here, wait for, we should get a green arrow. I'm amazed that it understands all these traffic lights. There's so many traffic lights all over the place. And then we get the green arrow here to go to the left. It's kind of following the trajectory of the vehicle in front of us. And then this right lane ends, so we should be moving over to the left. Fantastic. Well executed. <coughs> Good work coming up. It's a little bit above the speed limit, 36 and a 35. It's keeping a great distance from the parks in front of us. Kind of getting away a little bit from us because, uh, you know, we're doing at speed limit or just slightly above. And, uh, usually people drive like 38, 40 on this road. But, you know, we're testing the car, so we'll let it do what it's going to do just to see what kind of results we get. We're coming up to uh, railroad tracks again. It ignores the X on the ground. Let's see if it slows down for the railroad tracks. All right, it does slow down, but a little bit too late. So it goes over at like 29 miles an hour, which is a bit too quick. I'm making this left turn here. Nice smooth turn. There's another railroad tracks that coming up here. And a previous version made a mistake of like slamming its brakes at this railroad crossing here at the X section here, it doesn't do anything. And now uh, I'm gonna slow down here. Yeah. Not slowing down for all railroad tracks. Now I'm just reporting that issue because it used to slam on the brakes right at the drawing on the ground with the X's. And then it would accelerate over the railroad tracks. Now it just ignores that X completely and then just tries to drive at the same speed so it doesn't slow down for the railroad tracks. And those railroad tracks, whoa, phantom braking, hard phantom braking, down to one for no reason. There's nothing around me. I don't know what's going on in this section. And then quick acceleration. And we're here at our last turn. All right, guys, there you have it. That's our quick test to shop ride. Definitely still having some issues, some phantom braking, but the speed limits are fixed on that, uh, on the map data, looks like. We'll do some more testing uh, once we go to the office. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, your family. Have a great day.